wonder what's going to be on the cards today at the waterholes. You'll have to sit back, relax, and see what comes down. Generally a slow start to the morning at this time of the day. The diurnal animals are just starting to get their day underway. The birds here, they will be a little bit uh, sleepy for now. And we can see quite a bit of a breeze coming across the waterhole. As well. But it is interesting to note as well that um, being allelo mimetic type uh, animals or copycat behavioral animals, the flamingos, they do pretty much copy each other. If one stand still the rest of them generally do the same if one jumps up to fly they'll also all copy so currently there's um, just a few individuals that are walking about but otherwise everybody else just still resting up i'm sure it's quite cool there kimberly is known for being cold in the morning and so i'm sure they're waiting to warm up before they become active and uh, start to feed crazy the east wind is howling and look how blurry it is look how dusty it is hazy it is there in the background it can be a nightmare especially when you're camping and this wind starts blowing up done many camping safaris and the east wind has been howling like this and i tell you what it's not fun especially when you're trying to cook sand gets in everything it's not so bad here because this is a fine white powdery dust but if you're in the south of namibia in the areas around sources flay that sand is incredible you feel like you're getting sand blasted um, and it gets into the food and you've got that crunchiness to it that is just difficult to deal with That's the least i can say about it And with this weather, it is also extremely hot. So the animals will most likely be coming down for a drink. You can see it gusting over the water there. With a nice little family of warthogs that have come down for a drink. Lovely. And it's not too windy here. So I've just, I've spent so many years in that east wind it it almost makes my um hair stand on end it's it's um it's something that gets into your frame you just you can never forget that east weather so i'm glad we have a little bit of a relief away from there because i was starting to get anxious sitting there at okokoyo i almost feel like i need to be going and preparing my guests lunch or dinner and not knowing how i'm going to be able to do it comfortably for the guests so back here at Jamala in Madikwe, I'm feeling a little bit better. So how many? It looks like we've got four little piglets there and maybe an older sibling or maybe just another individual that's joined them but four piglets be lucky if all of them make it to adulthood the warthogs can have up to eight piglets in um in one go which is incredible and sometimes they can give birth up to three times a year mainly it's twice but they can give birth three times a year and that's you know 24 piglets if they had to have the full quota and they do supply a lot of food to the likes of leopard, particularly young leopard and lions. And most of them do get taken out. It's, um, it's quite successful if one or two make it. The bigger the herd, the bigger the chance of lions following on behind them. So who knows at some stage we'll probably see some lions here too we have every opportunity of seeing wild dogs and leopards etc as i discussed earlier but right now just enjoying the sheer numbers of these bovids
And as you can see, top left corner, this water hole is also part of the Africam collection. Um, it's just such a wonderful diversity. All of these damn cameras, the water hole cameras, it's just amazing. I can't tell you how happy I am that we've got them now on board as well. And we've just got such a range to jump around. And you might hear some of the yellow-billed oxpeckers, which prefer buffalo. Uh, Red-billed oxpeckers will also be on buffalo, but they, they don't have such a preference. They'll be on giraffe, uh, kudu, zebra, impala. Uh, but yellow-billed oxpeckers are almost exclusive to buffalo. Um, and if you listen to the different calls, a red-billed oxpeckers got like a chik 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 whereas... A yellow-billed oxpecker is more like a zzz, zzz, zzz. So, the, yeah, a little subtle difference, but very clear. And, and if you ever hear yellow-billed oxpeckers when you're in the bush, you can very much be sure that there's buffalo nearby. And we use that as a wonderful tool when we're out on foot. Generally, we don't see the buffalo. We normally hear the oxpeckers first. And that puts us on our toes. We then sort of have a look in the area where we heard that but we are very cautious because we understand that we might be very close to a herd of buffalo um, so it saved my skin many times and if it can uh, be useful to you in any way remember what i told you about the yellow billed ox picker And at the Africam Old Donyo, obviously, the fight continues for this little water hole where the elephants were dominating earlier. Then it seems like the zebras outnumbered them. But they think, seem to be thinning out a bit. And, of course, the giraffe still waiting their turn. I think the oryx and the earlunt have drunk their full. We've just got to get the giraffe in there. It's their turn, chaps. So, Briley, I'm glad that you enjoyed the show. And I'm glad that you've been joining us. And um, as I say, I think it's just going to become more and more exciting. We've got all these different water holes. And it's going to be amazing to see as the seasons change as well. And I'm sure every day we're going to see something new. We've got such a range of water holes that uh, it's almost difficult to choose exactly where to go. Now, as, well, as always as well, I have to say thanks for watching to the, you, the viewers. Without you, um, the show wouldn't exist. And of course, without the Wild Earth team, it wouldn't be broadcast. And then um, we, the naturalists, we get to do the easy part. So we don't really need many thanks. It's mostly down to the wildlife, the viewers, and the Wild Earth team. It's been a pleasure, folks. Please join us again once more tomorrow. We're nearly done. And the giraffe are drinking. Fantastic. That's it from me. Nice way to end. My name is Ralph Kirsten. Bye for now.